Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is all about the Pat McGrath Luxe Trance Lipsticks along with her Permagel Ultra Lip Pencils. I have 11 of the Luxe Trance Lipsticks and I have 8 of the lip pencils. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing some lip swatches, then just keep on watching. Pat McGrath came out with Luxe Trance Lipsticks as a follow-up to her Matte Trance Lipsticks and these have a creamier, more natural finish versus the Matte Trance Lipsticks which as the name would suggest, have a very matte finish. So I don't typically reach for matte lipsticks, so when she announced that she was coming out with these Lux Trans lipsticks and this cream formula, I was super excited. So I ordered a few off of her site, I also ordered some off of Sephora, and a couple of colors that I've been dying to order off of Sephora and they appear to have been out of stock are actually, I believe, exclusive to the Pat McGrath website. So I don't know if they're eventually gonna come to Sephora, um, there's one, I think it's like Los Angeles, but they are listed in Sephora just out of stock. So I feel like maybe eventually they'll land there. So anyway, I decided to make this video because I've been hauling these lipsticks and I've been doing some arm swatches and maybe I've been wearing uh, one in some of my videos. But a few of you have asked me to do some lip swatches because the VIB sale is coming up. You know, what colors should we get? Etc. Etc. So I thought I would do this video um, before the VIB sale hits, which I believe is November 3rd for Rouge members. Um, I don't know the dates for the other uh, tiers for um, VIB. But anyway, November 3rd, it is coming. I hope you guys are ready. I am definitely ready. Um, and if I have time, I'm going to try and film a VIB recommendations video, and these will definitely show up in that video as well. Before I get into the lip swatches, I just want to say that I really, really love this formula. It's incredibly creamy. It's very pigmented. It is literally like a one swipe and done situation. They're long lasting and they're even longer lasting if you use a lip pencil on top. It sort of sets everything down and it's just a really awesome formula. Now in my lip swatches you'll probably see the first color that I swatch is Sextrology and that's a very very light pink color and that I feel like really picked up the dry patches on my lips. Because this formula is so thick, it really kind of clings to those dry patches. Um, I didn't notice it with the other colors, but if you like a really light kind of white-based kind of baby pink, you may see that happen as well. Um, some other people have noticed that like it kind of emphasizes lines and things like that. I think if your lips are like moisturized, it won't be too bad, but I tend to have dry lips, so it is a concern for me. And occasionally, again, with the lighter colors, it's definitely more of a problem, obviously, than the darker colors, because you can't really see like the shadow of the lines and stuff. Anyway, um, to me, it's not that big of a problem. I love the finish of them. I love the pigment. I love that they last a long time. And I think, I feel like, you know, I've never had anything done to my lips or anything, but I feel like when I put them on, it almost makes them look like really pillowy. That kind of look when I see when women get like lip fillers, they look like really pillowy lips. I feel like this lipstick kind of gives you that appearance. It's, it's really amazing. So I love it. And another question that some people have asked me is, well, you know, this is supposed to be a cream formula and it's not supposed to have a matte finish but they feel like they've seen pictures of it or that they've tried it out and it looked very, very matte on their lips. Upon first application, I don't think that they have a matte finish, but I have noticed that as the day wears on, the fact that they're kind of longer lasting, the color so much doesn't fade during the day, but I feel like the finish fades and you end up with a more matte finish. I, I still don't think it's very matte, but it's definitely matter than you know, upon first application. That's been my observation, that when it wears down, it kind of ends up a little bit more matte um, instead of just sort of wearing away. And I think that's kind of cool because it makes this cream lipstick a little bit more of a longer lasting lipstick, which is unusual for like a cream satin lipstick. I, like I said, I love these lipsticks. I highly recommend them. I really, really love the lip pencils as well. I think they're really awesome. In my lip swatches, I try and match up the lip pencil um, to the lipstick as best as as I could. It's, you know, how I would 
match them up, at least with the ones that I have. Um, there's a color in there, McGrath Muse, or just McGrath, I'm actually confused. On the label of the lipstick, it just says McGrath, but I believe on the website it says McGrath Muse. So anyway, it's a very orangey red color, and I don't have a lip pencil that matches that, so I don't use a lip pencil with that particular lip color. Um, and then for a lot of the lip colors, I use the same lip pencil. So there's a couple lip pencils that I don't actually um, swatch, and that is Contour, which I actually have on my lips today, and I bought this color specifically because I thought it matched the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder lip glosses that I have. It's very close to the Victoria lip pencil. It's a very sort of warm nude. It has like a teensy bit of like an orange um, tone to it. So I really love it. Again, that's what I have on my lips today and I have it with the Victoria Beckham Desert Heat lip gloss. Other lip pencil that I don't uh, swatch is Bare Rose. And this was another one that I got because I just liked this color and I thought I could wear it by itself. It's this really pretty, uh, very neutral pink, deep pink color. And again, that's called Bare Rose. So that I don't actually lip swatch, but that's the color. It's very pretty on its own if you just wanna um, use it to line and fill in your lips and then just put like a very neutral lip gloss over it. I love that. But the rest of the lip pencils, um, I lip swatch along with the 11 Lux Trans lipsticks. So thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in my lip swatches, then just stay tuned. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please let me know if you have any questions down below. I know sometimes it's really hard to get a sense of the color through the camera, through all the pictures that we see. So if you need more, I'm not the best at describing colors sometimes, but if you need maybe more of an in-depth sort of description of some of the colors that I swatched, if you're kind of, you know, it, kind of between two colors, you're not exactly sure which one to go for. Anyway, just let me know down below. Please subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video.